Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Skype on your mobile device. So I'll cover the Android and iPhone. They're almost identical. There's just a couple of minor changes that I'll point out as we go through this video. And if you've never heard of Skype before, it's basically a messaging app where you could text message, audio chat, and video chat with anyone in the world. And for the most part, it's free, but Skype does have a paid version where it actually allows you to call landlines using Skype. So if the other person doesn't have an internet connection or Skype, you could actually call them using a landline that does require a payment. I'll show you that too. And if you wanna learn more about Skype on using the web version of Skype at skype.com or the desktop application for Mac and PC, I do have a different video for that. This is gonna cover the mobile device. If you click the link below this video in the description, it will bring you to this page where you could go ahead and get the Skype app for your iPhone, your Android, or your Windows 10 mobile device. Okay, so I already downloaded it here for my iPhone, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And once you install the app and you launch the app, it's going to ask you to sign up or to sign in. Now, if you already have a Microsoft account, you could use the username and password for that. I already have that because I have Microsoft Team and I already have Xbox, I have Microsoft Office. So that's all under the same account. So Microsoft owns Skype, they own Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Word, Excel. So if you have that, type that in. If you don't, you could go ahead and sign up, okay? And you could sign up again with a email, a phone number, if you press create right here. It's gonna ask you to sign in with email, phone number. It's gonna do some verifications here and it will set up your Skype account and bring you to the homepage. So I'm gonna jump into the homepage because I already used my account. And let me walk you briefly through the interface here of what you're looking at. And I'll point out the difference on the Android, which is very minor here on the homepage. But on top, you have notifications bell. This is gonna show you if you missed a call, things like that. Here is your profile settings that we'll jump into in a second. And then you could go ahead and search people here and messages will appear here as you start conversations. Each one will have a line here. And then on the bottom you have chat, calls, and contact. Now the difference here between iPhone and Android is right here. On iPhone, to start a video call or to compose a message, you'll have these two options over here. So here on the Android, here I'm on an Android, the only difference is if you look on top, you still have the camera option here, but the compose your message option is here instead of on top. And instead you have a search option over here instead of having it across and you have the three dots over here. That's gonna show you sorting options when you have a lot of messages on this page. So back on the iPhone, let's get started here. And the very first step you typically wanna do is you wanna click your profile icon here if you just set up your account. And here what I wanna show you is there is something called your status. So if you press this drop down, you could be active so other people, once we add other people on Skype, could see that you're active and available. You could be away, you could be on do not disturb, or you could be invisible, okay? So you could change these at any time. I typically change this as the first thing I do. Then underneath that, you have shared what you're up to. This is also your status here. So you could say out for lunch or in a meeting or whatever, any of these options or type your own here. Okay, so I'll type in in a meeting and I'll press done. So then I would maybe wanna change this to away if I'm not available. Then you have your Skype profile. That's the next thing I would do. I would jump in here. And here I could click this camera option to add a profile picture. So it's really nice to add a picture of yourself so people could find you easily when they type your name. And then you have your Skype name. If you click over here, you could actually copy this and send it to people so they could find you easier. Although in most cases they could use your name to try to find you when we do a search or try to search using your email address. Those are all going to come in handy when searching for people. We'll look at that next. Let's go back now and back in the homepage here, I wanna show you the next step of connecting with people because right now I haven't synced any contact. I don't have anyone to connect with on Skype, which is the whole point of the app. So you can press sync contact here and it's gonna sync up everybody on your phone so you could easily find them or you could go to the contacts page right here, which is better. 
And here you could go ahead and search your contacts once you sync them up. Or you could press the profile option on top and add people individually here. And this is one of those other pages where only difference between Android and iPhone here is your adding people icon is over here instead of on top. That's all. So if you want to add someone, you could go ahead and do this instead. So back on the iPhone, I'll press this here and then you could search for people. Let me just go back to show you the difference between search. You could be searching your contacts. So if you give access to your contacts, which I really haven't here, it would access and search your contacts when you try to go ahead and add people or search people. Or I could go to all. And this is what's nice about all. This is searching anybody that has a Skype account. So I could click over here. And what I could do for search is I could, again, use my contacts or I could invite people that don't have Skype or I could try to search for people using their Skype name if they gave me their Skype name, which I've shown you again where to get that. Or I could search their actual first and last name or I could try their phone number or email to see if they're on Skype. OK, so I'll try that here. I'll try someone's name, which is my other account. And once you press search, this, I'm just searching my other account here and there I am. So I have a profile picture on that account. It shows my location here and shows my Skype handle here. Okay, so then I could go ahead and click this and it brings me inside of a chat between me and this person. Okay, so this is your chat window. So let's go over this because this is where you could send text messages. This is where you could send audio and pictures and you could start a video or audio call up here. Okay, so I could send text just like this. This is gonna send an emoji right here. I could click here and type out my message instead. Okay, so I send a text message. I could give it access to my camera and take a picture here, or I could press the plus sign and send media, share a contact, my location, or schedule a call for later. Okay, all of that is available over here under that. When you do invite someone, they do have to accept you. You can't just start a conversation. So when I send a message to this person, they do have to press accept so they could reply to me. Now, they don't have to be using the mobile version, though. They could be on the computer, for example, or on Skype.com, and they would still get this, okay? So just to show you, I just jumped on the computer where that invite came in. You see, I have to press accept. This is the other account now on the computer. If it happened on the phone too, they would have to press accept here and then they would get that message and I could respond back. Okay, so I'll respond and then I will get this message. So you could see that over here, back to the phone. Okay, so I'm just showing you both of the accounts on both sides so you could get a good idea what they look like. Now, what's really important here is these two options over here to make a video call or a phone call. Now, I'll explain to you in a second when you make a phone call that requires a paid option. That's because if you call someone that doesn't have Skype, you could call their mobile number or their house number, a landline in different countries. And that does require a price, but that's in a different page. Right here, I'm just making a free video or audio call between two different people or even a group, for example, would be the same way that all are using Skype. I'm using a Wi-Fi internet connection here to do that. So it's going to be a free video and audio call. So to create a video call, I'm going to press this right here. So here on the mobile view here, this is what I'm looking at. So I see the other person's profile picture. I see myself up here. And what I could do if I click in the bottom right here, I could mute myself. I could go ahead and turn off my camera right here. So it would just show my profile picture, which I haven't added yet. And I could hang up the call. Also, let me just show you some more advanced options here with the three dots. You could press these three dots over here. You could allow incoming calls. So other calls could be merged on this call, making a group call. You could turn on subtitles. So everything you're saying is going to get transcribed in text. This is kind of useful. And you could add people here again, start recording. If you start recording, it's actually going to show you on top that it's recording and it's going to show you that on both screens. The other person is going to see that too. So actually, let me stop the recording here. I'll just stop it. You could take a snapshot and you could even share your screen. This is going to share your mobile screen with that other person. This is really, really useful too. But in this case, I want to 
click over here and as long as this is turned off the video is technically an audio call now but let me go ahead and hang up on this call and if I made a phone call instead you could see I could call for free okay this is letting me call for free between two different Skypes or this is my phone number that I connected here it's gonna let me use my phone number to connect and then I could call a different phone number with that okay so I wouldn't call someone on Skype I could use the Skype app to use my phone number here and use the Skype credits to call someone maybe in a different country. I'll explain that in a second there. And you can see the recording becomes available here where I could go ahead and press play. It says recording is available for 30 days. And I do have a premium version of Skype here because I have it with my Microsoft 365 account. So some of those options are part of the premium options if you don't see it on yours. Let's go back to the home page here and you can see now I have two different contacts, the one that was there before and the one I've added here. Anytime, remember, you could go to contacts or you could press this option or you could search and add more people here. If you do sync it to your contact, everybody that has Skype will show up over here. Now let's go back to the chat icon and you can see as you make calls and you start chats and you do video and audio calls, they all appear over here. So this is gonna get filled up pretty quick as you start going through and making lines, they will all show up. And remember when I showed you on top where you could click this and change from active to away, you see this little green icon over here? This is showing that I'm actually available. When you're away, it turns orange. So this is really handy to look for over here. Anytime you could slide on these, by the way, and you could call that person from here or press the more option and you could hide this conversation or deleting conversation right here. Let me delete this one and it's going to make it completely disappear from this page. There you go, back to how we started. Now under calls, let me go over here and I wanna show you under calls what ends up happening is you could actually connect and call anyone on Skype for free or if they don't have Skype, using your mobile number and calling mobile and landlines. So that's why you will see this option right here. It says get credit, let me click on it. And you could see you could buy Skype credits, so it will use your credit to make those calls. Or if you're making calls to specific countries, you could see different plans over here. This is very unique to Skype and how this works. It allows you to use Skype to call landlines and mobile numbers around the world for a very reasonable cost here. And let me show you group chats, okay? If you go to the chat window here, you will have to compose a chat to start a group chat which could become a video conference okay so all you have to do is press this option on android remember it's over here but just go ahead and press it and it brings up this page here where we could start initiating calls with people on our contact list that we've added but what i want to do is create a group chat instead so if i press this right here it's going to let me name the group whatever i want so class for example let's name it that I could add a picture, I could press next here, and I could go ahead and invite people here by just selecting their name, and then they will just be added over here. So I could select, I believe, up to 100 people here to create a group. I could always search on top as well for other people that are not showing up here, and I'll press done, and it creates a group just like this, okay? So now this is, again, the same chat conversations that we've looked at before where I could message everyone in this group, they could message me back, we could do anything again with sharing media, scheduling a call for later, all the options down here. But to start a video chat with many people here, you could just press this and it opens up a video chat. And it's the same way where you can mute yourself, turn off camera and end the call. Same thing with the audio call, just press this over here to initiate a group call with as many people as you have in this group. At any time, if you're on this page, you could invite more people over here too and you could share the link. So if you press this, it's gonna let you go ahead and copy the link and you could go ahead and turn this on right here and you're gonna get a link over here that you copy and send to other people and they could join that way. Really, really easy to use too. Invite other people that you can't find on Skype, for example, you could just email this to them, they could click it and join even without the app. And that's your introduction to Skype on mobile devices, on Android and iPhone, really easy to use, I really like it and remember, this does sync up between all your different apps. So if you have the computer app or you use the Skype web version on skype.com, 
you could get access to it and it all syncs up together. And I usually give a review at the end of each video on the app that I'm covering and Skype is easily gonna get a solid five out of five. It's one of my favorite chat apps for video chat, audio chat, and even making international calls. Very, very unique, very easy to use. Thanks again for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for easy to follow app videos just like this one and I'll see you next time.